Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Team of the Year is getting close. And what I want to do in today's video is get you guys ready for Team of the Year with some dates, some news, and what to expect as we are nearing the biggest promo in FIBA 23. There's a lot of questions out there. When should I open my packs? When will these certain cards be in packs? When will the full team be in packs? And of course, what to expect with the market in terms of when are we going to get leaks? When are we going to see a loading screen? Is there one last bit of panic and price drop for this market there's potential for that but i want to talk through all of that in today's video to help you get you guys ready for the team of the year promo so if you're excited for today hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's dive right in by talking about what's happening today today is the end of the team of the year vote. If you go on EA's website, you click the vote or about vote, right? You can see in here, they've got the terms and conditions and it ends on January 16th at 11.59 Pacific time, which is like 8 a.m. UK time, 3 a.m. in the morning for me. The team of the year vote is ending today, early in the morning hours. And just like last year, I think today we might even start to learn about who's in the official team of the year because, and this was a surprise, I kind of forgot about this. Looking back to last year, we knew players, the literally the day the vote ended, in the evening, about 12 hours after the voting ended, we started getting leaks from Foot Sheriff. Love the graphics back then there, right? With the Sheriff hat on, all that great stuff. Uh, we started getting leaks the night of the voting when it ended. Like literally 12 hours after, we almost had the full team leaked uh, the first day, right? A lot of these players, Marquinhos, Cancelo, Lewandowski, all of these guys that ended up making up the entire team of the year 11, they were leaked within 12 hours, 15 hours of when the voting finished. So that is a very, very real thing that could happen today as well. Maybe tomorrow on the video, we're talking about the leaked team of the year. Now, I don't wanna get your hopes up to expect this because there's obviously the potential that this does not happen. It all depends on the leaks, on how EA put out the leaks. And as you guys know, the leaks the past couple of weeks in terms of like these Centurions cards, they were very slow. Like we didn't get leaked to these guys until like right up until they were gonna be in packs. So that is one thing that makes me think maybe we won't get leaks for the actual team. Maybe EA is kind of being, uh, holding in those player names a bit longer or whatever it may be, harder to get the leaks. I'm not entirely sure, but the voting ends today. So that potential of the leaks being put out there and available is there. That's something that would get very, very real for team of the year on this game. And it would also just if for a minute, if I could talk about this impact, the market last year, a lot of people thought Mohamed Salah was going to get into team of the year, right? And so when Mohamed Salah did not get into team of the year, you saw one of his biggest special cards at the time, the headliner Salah card start to rise up in price. Same thing with Neymar, right? Neymar's winter wild cards last year exploded in price um, because he was not in team of the year. Now this year, I mean, both these guys, Neymar could potentially get in team of the year, but this Centurions card for his uh, player item has started to go up in price. I think as people are seeing the market move it the way that it is and they want to buy that card at maybe its lowest point for what it was on the weekend, but the market will react to these leagues. If a player that gets into the team of the year that wasn't expected to get in, uh, like nobody was expecting Neymar to get in, would that Centurions drop if he is leaked to get in? Yes. Let's say like Benzema somehow does not get in, right? Let's say in that Neymar situation, Benzema is not in, but Neymar is. Would this version of Benzema go up in price? Probably, because most people are expecting Benzema to get in right that's the th sort of thing that you can probably expect to see and for the players that are expected to get in that maybe will get in i do remember last year like the wants to watch hakimi card dropped off in price because hakimi won one of the votes last year got into team of the year and his price dropped off but then it ended up going back up of course so that's something to watch out for today if we start to get leaks right that's a big if scenario but the potential is there. We could also get no leaks, but maybe a loading screen. Tuesday loading screens have been a part of this uh, year. And especially if we're going to get any news on team of the year icons, that could be where they do the Tuesday loading screen, right? If you think about when we had World Cup heroes and World Cup icons earlier on this year, those were the promo days that we had the loading screen start on Tuesdays. And EA always loved to milk team of the year. We've said it, right? You guys know they like to tweet about it. They like to make videos about it because it's team of the year. So maybe a loading screen today that could unveil some information, maybe about team of the year icons and just team of the year is coming in a couple days. Obviously, right now, we this is not a leak. This is just a concept. We just don't know what Team of the Year icons are about. So hopefully, we get some more news later on this week. And guys, it's 
kind of middle of the week now, right? Hopefully the leaks and the news and tweets from EA even doesn't have to be leaks, but official information from EA Hopefully that starts to get spread around because we want to know what these team of the year icons are going to look like, what the official card design is going to be, and who are going to be getting team of the year icons. Now, I want to talk about dates as well because a lot of you guys are asking like, Nate, if I've been saving up packs and not opening during the Centurions promo, how long do I need to hold my packs before I should open them during team of the year? Well, this is how the schedule went last year. Uh, or sorry, this is this is how the schedule went last year in the same layout, but this is how FIFA U team on their website has set it up. And I think this is probably going to be how it goes this year as well. The past couple of years, it's been the same way. They start with attackers in packs, only attackers in packs on the first Friday. So this Friday on the 20th, I would expect to see only attackers in packs. And then after that, they're in packs for two days. Then on Sunday, midfielders will drop. Then on Tuesday, defenders will drop. And then on Thursday, the full team of the year would be in packs. The those 11 players on Thursday, and then the next day on Friday, they would drop the 12th man and the honorable mentions, whatever you want to call them, second highest voted, right? Last year, we had those honorable mentions cards like the Salah, the Holland, the Rudiger. If EA are going to do that again this year, that is probably how the full release would go. So if you're saving packs at this time and you're waiting, when's the best time to open these saved up packs? Potentially, I think that would be waiting until the end when all of the players are in packs, all of the honorable mentions are in packs. That's going to give you your highest percentage chance of packing a team of the year just because there's more in packs and those team of the year honorable mentions cards. Now, last year, they did a really good job of releasing position specific packs and they have not done a really good job this year there haven't been as many i mean in fact i don't even know if we've had a single spc i know last year we had the team of the year warm-up series where they dropped like 83 plus attacker midfielder uh and defender packs i think there was even like an 85 version of that an 81 plus version as well we haven't seen like anything besides a couple of packs and objectives like that one that i had there in the store was from an objective but we're really lacking in some of those position specific packs if you want to open an 81 plus midfielder or an 81 plus attacker pack like I have here. Last year, people got some really good stuff and the drop weight on the first couple of days when only that certain specific position group was in packs, you could open those packs then. But honestly, I would wait to open like 99% of my packs until when the full team is in because of course, when the full team is in packs as well, you have a lot more potential with more SBCs that have been released since that's like a week into team of the year. You've got a lot of other SBCs you can craft. The upgrade SBCs will be out at that time where you can start doing upgrade packs and there would just be a lot more there for you to do when you get duplicates and fodder and stuff like that. So my advice, even though you've been saving packs for so long, my advice is to probably wait until that 12th man honorable mention is in packs next Friday. Friday the 27th. So that would be the day that I would be looking to open like my 83 times 25, my second 100 Centurions pack, stuff like that. That's kind of the information I want to give you guys about what to expect on the dates for Team of the Year. Now, those are not confirmed yet. Those are just speculated based off of last year. Of course, if anything changes, we'll be talking about it and we'll update you guys here on the channel. Now, Let's get back into the market and talk about this sort of stuff because that's kind of all the team of the year information and news that we have right now. The market yesterday, prices started to go back up a little bit, right? Let's take a look at Gold Mbappe, the card we've kind of been using as our like barometer for this market. Mbappe was 700K lows last night, right? And he is all the way up now to 730, 740,000 coins since the market yesterday. And we said this in the video, since there was not a lot of great content yesterday, all we had was an 82 plus upgrade which is pretty cheap for the value, but the pack weight on these is very hit or miss. All we had was this, a little bit of pack supply with the Centurions uh, SBC um, and the Radu SBC. It was a pretty quiet day yesterday, right? A lot of the market was like, okay, I'm just going to keep rising. People were like, I'm going to go out and, and buy some cards, try them, as there's still demand out there for gameplay and still demand out there for teams. That's why you saw the markets just start to go up uh, a little bit more, and that's what we expected. If there was going to be no content in yesterday's video, that is exactly what we expected. Now, if you bought any cards yesterday or maybe even Sunday night for your team, I think that was a really, really good buy time for a lot of stuff. Some stuff is still around the same price, right? Some stuff hasn't really moved that much. Other cards have started to slide up. Again, I still think there might be one more window of opportunity, whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow. I do believe that EA's got one more trick up their sleeve, whether it's going to be a big SBC like a hero, or sorry, like an icon pack. Because if you remember last year in FIFA 22, we had a hero pack 
and an icon player pick available at the same time during team of the year that, st that were released before team of the year to drain coins. So whether they do something like that today or whether they release some like position specific packs um, or you like yeah, last week they released the 83 times 10. And when I talk about uh, position specific SBCs, I'm talking about these, right? Exchange a squad to earn three attackers, 83 overall and higher. We have not seen anything like that in SBCs uh, this year really yet. So could they do this? I don't even know if these packs are in the code. I think some of them are because of course they were in objectives, but like 83 plus or 85 plus position specific packs, maybe that's not something they're interested in doing this year. But I do believe there's like one last SBC that they have in them. I think EA's got one last trick up their sleeve. I feel like today would be a day where they would release that, but maybe tomorrow as well. So watch out for that. And that could be one last uh, kind of boost to the fodder market as well. If you've got 84s, 85s, these guys went up even further yesterday. Now in the nighttime hours that we're in right now, some of them are down a little bit, right? 84s were again like 13, 14,000 coins yesterday. Now they're back down to about 12K just because they get a little bit lower in the late night hours. And we did have tradable supply yesterday. People might be logging on to FIFA doing that Centurions challenge and packing some of those fodder cards. So if you have fodder, maybe if you're still holding away for that one last SBC potential dropping today or tomorrow, raising that fodder up one last little bit before we get into the team of the year weekend, which fodder will be a very, very, very big part of the market to watch on Friday as well, because the hero player pick is going to refresh and a lot of people are going to open packs on Friday. Now, let me take us to kind of the end of the week and, and think with that in your mind, because when we get to Friday, even though only the attackers most likely are going to be in packs unless EA changed something up. When we get to Friday, people that just see Mbappe, Messi, I'm guessing two of those guys are going to be two out of the three that are going to be in packs because of the attackers being in packs on Friday. That's going to be enough big names. People are going to see, oh my goodness, team of the year has started. Mbappe and Messi are in packs. I got to open my packs or I got to open FIFA points. A lot of people, I would not recommend this, but a lot of people will open their packs just because they see those guys out in packs on Friday. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring coins to the market because anytime we have a bunch of lightning rounds or we have a bunch of saved up packs open, people get coins from opening those packs, quick selling players. And ultimately that's what brings the most coins to the market is quick selling the players. Because if you sell a player on the market, one player gets coins, the other player had to buy the coins, which is kind of like an equal for equal exchange, except for the tax, right? So really when packs are open, the bottom line is coins hit the market. That's why with rewards periods, we see the market rise. But I think that fodder and the market in general on Friday night, especially if the content uh, is not that great, I think you will start to see prices go up on out of pack specials and meta cards that people really want to use. Now, I'm not going to say it's going to be everything, right? Not everything is going to be skying in price. Last year, there was cards that went up a lot. There were cards that went up a lot and then died. And there were cards that didn't move at all, right? It's going to be all over the place on Friday. But if you think about your most meta items, especially whatever links to those team of the year cards last year, Lewandowski with his Bayern links, your Alfonso Davies special cards hit a rule breaker. I'm not sure if you guys remember that card from last year, I'm sure you do. But the rule breaker Alfonso Davies exploded. Kingsley Coman's winter wild cards last year exploded because people saw Lewandowski. He was the cheapest team of the year. They wanted to try him out and they went ahead and linked him to Davies um, and to Kingsley Coman, other buying cards. That stuff went up. So just watch out for that sort of stuff and keep that in mind. Again, if I would be buying cards right now on this market, I would be wanting to buy like for my team. If I was buying today and I saw a price drop, yes, you could potentially buy cards and then sit on them and wait for them to rise on Friday night. If I was in that sort of mode, like just wanting to make coins, like I personally am, I'm not looking to buy anything for my team. I would wait to buy cards until we get to Friday, see what the content is, make some moves there. But if you want to buy something for your team, like maybe it's the Mbappe or maybe it's like Yaya Toure or Ginola, uh, one of these really rare cards, especially if it's an out of packs card like this Messi. Uh, but again, we can throw the... Um, Winter Wild Cards in there as an example, like Ferlin Mendy, even some of these Centurions cards from Team 1 or Team 2. This stuff, if you see panic selling, and if you see leaks for Team of the Year that create some more panic selling, um, or whatever it may be, it'll be another opportunity to get in on this stuff for a team buy. Again, I really feel strongly about it being a team buy, the most important thing here, because I wouldn't want you guys to be 
putting a lot of investments into cards and then we have something crazy happen uh, with leaks or with an SBC. Um, and then you feel bad because you lost coins on an investment and you're losing coins, right? I, f I feel like it'd be a lot more smart that if you're buying a card from your team and you're happy with the price that you see because of the market crash pushing that card price down, then um, you know, you don't feel as bad when the, the card price maybe still has that opportunity to drop, but you bought it for your team and you're happy with the price that you got because it's down a lot from where it was. You know, that's, it's just kind of a different mindset. So if you're wanting to invest in make coins, like I am, I'm waiting to buy a lot of that stuff until Friday. But if you want to get in on some team buys and buy something for your team, uh, and you're not maybe wanting to sell that card for a while. And even if you're expecting to say, Hey, I'm going to lose coins on this at some point, maybe in the next month or so, but I'm okay to buy it now and to have the price maybe go up a little bit and, or hold during team of the year, then I'm fine with that. Then look for some price drop offs today. If EA have something else up their sleeve and some other SBCs that they are going to release, which I really feel like is a possibility. So that's one of the things I'd watch out for today. Another SBC along those lines. We don't have any other leaks right now, which also could mean it could be a really quiet week to, uh, this week and, and maybe even today again. And if that's the case, you're probably just going to see if the same prices that you saw slowly rise up yesterday, you're probably going to see that today on FIFA as well and even tomorrow. Now, one quick little thing I want to mention here towards the end of the video is um, we have some very interesting like expiration dates for this this ward silver stars and first owner Fied fiesta aka ford fiesta are expiring today usually silver stars go until wednesday so i'm not entirely sure what's wrong with this if that's an ea mistake but somebody pointed that out to me and i wanted to point that out to you guys as well so be very very careful there and then of course what we do have to watch out for today too is a loading screen now right now all we have is a loading screen for this insurance promo and the team of the week and um you know like i said a loading screen is very, very potential, uh, very good potential for today. Also, what we have to look out for today are leaks for a special someone getting into team or player of the month. Yes, Mbappe is probably getting into team of the year, but player of the month as well. Something that we have to keep an eye on. Burajad, Siko Fofana, and Kylian Mbappe voting is now closed. Leaks either today or tomorrow for an SBC that will probably be released tomorrow or Thursday. I do imagine that this will be uh, dropped on Thursday. Could be on Wednesday. League One Player of the Month has been something that's kind of gone back and forth. Just depends on when EA wants it to drop um, in the game. But I thought it was kind of funny because looking back on last year's league tweets, we were in the same scenario, right? Uh, Foot Sheriff said, bang, no Player of the Month, no problem. So evidently, I didn't remember this, Mbappe was in the Player of the Month voting last year, right around Team of the Year. And deja vu, here we are again, Mbappe and Player of the Month voting. If he wins it, though, that could mean a lot of different things for the Mbappe card, right? We've been keeping an eye on that, and we have been watching that. But, again, if there is no leaks today, if there is no information, that would probably, and, and no content as well, that would probably just take this market up a little bit further, and it would make a pretty good day to trade, right? Icons are what I kind of traded with yesterday. I picked up a Royce at 214 because I thought that was really low. I saw him in the 230s. Um, earlier. So I picked that up and I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to try to flip that card and do that. But it'll be a pretty good day to trade and fluctuate cards, fluctuation trade with cards if the content is quiet. But honestly, I'm hoping for exactly the opposite. I'm hoping for today's content to be something at least kind of panic inducing, some sort of SBC or some sort of, maybe it's just a loading screen, but something that will make this market shift a little bit uh, and maybe cause another dip and maybe a little bit of panic, a loading screen, an SBC, and especially a team of the year vote. I'm really excited for a hopeful team of the year, of not a vote, but a leak, a team of the year leak. Uh, at some point today so that we can sit here tomorrow and talk about the players that are going to be in team of the year and that would cause some absolute chaos and get people ready like really ready uh, for team of the year as well so that's just me personally i kind of hope it goes down the same way as last year but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and hopefully it's a good day today on fifa on a tuesday i know there's a lot to grind right now we have the centurions cup if you're doing that uh, sbcs to craft don't forget if you're trying to do any of the league sbcs that these are expiring as well if you're going to do like i haven't done this at all i'm going to do this a couple of times on stream today hopefully to get my um, extra rewards that are in there in the league sbc additional pack so make sure you go out and get those done if you have not done that and you want to get those extra rewards that are in 
objectives. But that's going to be the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.